So what is going on guys? Nano Prince 93 here with another video. I know it's been a little while and again, still dealing with the movers. So I think by Saturday, today's Thursday, we should be good to go. And this crazy echo will be gone finally. But I did want to show you guys the new iPad OS 14 beta 7 that came out because there's a couple things that you know are nice, something that's actually visual that I can kind of share with you guys. And there's this new Apple security bounty I don't know if it's new or not, but it's the first time I've noticed it in a developer's like portal. And I kind of want to talk about that a little bit, but let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so let's look at the build number first, right? So if we go into the settings, last time we were on E and today we moved ourselves to B. So if you guys recall, we went from 18A, 5369D back to E, which is kind of strange because normally Apple goes down in letters up until the GM, but now we're back to B, which means we're probably gonna get an A, ideally, but we actually don't know because Apple has been weird with their schedule in terms of the beta releases, they've been weird with their naming. Like this one took nine days instead of the usual seven days once we get to that weekly basis. But again, we got it and I can't complain, right? So again, we're on B right now. And then also it was about 400 megabytes in size. So give yourself about one gigabyte of space to be able to install the new beta firmware. So another cool thing that I can actually physically show you guys is actually we got new wallpapers, right? So if you go again, into the wallpapers, choose new wallpaper. It's under the still section. And you guys can see if you scroll down, we get the retro wallpapers back, but in a cool new way, right? So these are the six new ones. The reason it's either half you know, colored or half black is because if you go into dark mode, it's automatically, so the background's gonna be black and you're gonna have the retro color. So essentially, if you're a dark mode person like myself, you really don't have any new wallpapers, but if you stick on the light mode and you like pastel colors, you got six new ones, guys. So that's something to take, you know, take a look at if you guys want some new wallpapers to try something new. Another thing that was actually weird, again, it didn't ruin anything from a functionality standpoint, but whenever I tried to connect my AirPods to the iPad, it would connect normally, but then I would get this like center underscore EXT, like it wouldn't say that it was my AirPods and that has been 100% fixed. Another one, again, for people who use the Apple Mail client is the fact that the double signature has been fixed. So there was a bug in beta six that whenever you would go to send an email and you put your signature in, it would duplicate that signature and then it would show two signatures underneath each other, on top of each other. And again, it just looks unprofessional and Apple fixed that for the mail client. And again, I don't use Apple's mail client because I jump shipped about two years ago. I've been using Spark Mail. Highly recommend it, guys. And then another really interesting one is this, remember back when iPadOS 14 was first announced, they were talking about this tracking feature, right? Because you know, Facebook had its thing where there was like privacy issues, data privacy issues, people wanted to have their data back. So Apple was gonna introduce this tracking feature, which basically stops Facebook from knowing what your interests are, right? And that was supposed to come out with iPadOS 14. It's under tracking right here. And then this is the like the dongle or the, the little switch to turn it off and on, right? And you can see that you can't do anything with it. And that's because Apple has delayed it. And I think they're delaying it for a year. And Facebook got upset because basically what makes Facebook their money is ad revenue from being able to track all these people. And if Apple allows you to turn that off from a flip of a switch, it could hurt Facebook. So I don't know, probably something happened behind the scenes where they agreed to like, hey, hold off for another year, which is kind of interesting, but it's there, you just can't touch it, which is kind of funny, right? It's just right there. And one more thing that I want to show you guys is actually, so this is the developer portal that I have access to, right? And it gives you basically the release notes of what's been changed and fixed. And I noticed this for the first time, this Apple security bounty, right? And I think from what I'm reading here, I don't know how new it is. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please do. Because again, this is the first time I'm seeing it. This is my first year being a paid developer and not just a public beta tester. And basically it's, you get compensated for showing bugs in beta systems and then fixing them, right? So in order to be eligible for Apple security bounty, the issue must occur in the latest publicly available versions, right? These, and then it gives you the instructions, right? So it's basically to be the first party to report an issue with an Apple product, provide a clear report. And then what Apple does is they compensate you. And then I do believe they give a matching donation to the nonprofit of your choice, which is something really cool. And I know that Tesla does something like this where they have competitions where basically they get developers to try to hack into their system. And if the developer wins, they show how they got in and then they get to keep a Tesla. Obviously it's not as cool. They're not getting a Tesla for anything like this, but at least you're getting rewarded for pointing out bugs that are hurting people. And that's really cool. But again, comment below if this is something that you guys have seen in the past, because I personally haven't. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. So 
Again, very little things. The only visual difference was the wallpapers. All these are gonna be bug fixes moving forward. I actually don't really know when they're gonna release the public version of iPadOS 14. I was thinking maybe September 7th with that new iPad Air that's coming out, but apparently there's another event later in September that could be when it comes out to the public. So just stay tuned guys. I'm definitely gonna make, cause we're probably gonna have two more betas before the final release and we'll go from there. So definitely stay tuned. Studio's coming together. My furniture's coming on Saturday and I'm really, really excited to get it going for everybody. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for hanging on with me. And until next time, peace.